up fam hope you're having a great day today welcome to my life movie in case you missed it james and i we did a live stream on my other channels we did an awesome dumpster dive live stream we were happy we were joking around and just like that a snap of a finger things changed while we were dumpster diving we came across this lady that was kind of behind the dumpsters and she looked pretty distressed she was crying and seemed like she was crying for help too she didn't, wasn't asking us for money nothing like that in fact i think the only thing she did ask us for was a prayer and we did deliver that probably i don't know live for like four hours or something and three of those four hours were spent with this lady that seemed like she was in a pretty pretty messed up mental situation and we tried to reach out to her family that ended in them calling the cops on us i mean it was a roller coaster of emotions on that live stream so yeah if you missed it go back to it it's interesting james is talking about maybe chopping up that live stream and making it into a video a condensed version so that you don't have to sit there for four hours and watch it if you don't want to watch four hour video we've already been having people even though it happened last night we have a lot of you reaching out to us saying you know hey you should check up on her and we're gonna do just that because last night towards the end of our live stream we tried to check up on her again a little bit later in the night and she was gone so we decided to come back here to where we found her where we were dumpster diving and we're gonna check up on her what do you say if she's there all right let's, let's go see. see oh what's crazy is when we checked up on her or we're trying to check up on her we saw somebody going through her stuff and we called them out on it james even was like oh the cops are gonna be coming and and he, he took off and he kind of was acting like he knew her or knew who she was and and like it was okay for him to be going through her stuff so when we do see her we're gonna probably tell her like hey there was this guy that was going through your stuff but yeah we're right here here we go again here we go again but during the day oh dude all her stuff is like in the middle of, oh somebody's here with her she's here Oh, yeah. yeah, she is in there. Hey. Hey there. I'm like so mad. It's so ready to fucking change my life. Man, it's so. I feel when I go home, my clothes, my ad, hair, four pants on. I'm so tired. What happened? So we came back here like late last night to check up on you. Someone stole all your stuff. Yeah. I know who it was. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw we came here and we were waiting for you, and some guy with blonde hair came and started going through your stuff. And I was like, "Why are you going through her stuff?" He was like, "Oh yeah, I left some cigarettes here." And who was it? Larry. Okay. Yeah, we we told him you can't be going through her stuff, and then he insisted and he kept just going through your stuff, and then. He thinks I stole from him because they're stealing from his camp. Uh, I gotta do something about this girl, Rachel, man. I'm telling you, they're looking at my kids' information. They're trying to get me in jail for stuff I didn't even do. Like, they're taunting me so bad. They want me to kill myself so they don't have to do it. No. You know, well, you don't don't listen to them. <laughs> Did you lose my number? Yeah, I don't have your number. I looked at my bag. I couldn't find your number. Yeah. Until, except when it was time to didn't you have a cooler there too yeah i just did that in the garbage all the, there was only garbage left here. oh it was only garbage in there things of um, so bad i'm excited that i got to see you guys though yeah no me me too Man, I oh, what should we do my phone you'd be like oh my god like it's it's against the law what she's doing you know having my driver's license my social security number all my info she's yeah, so you don't have that information anymore? Mm -hmm. Your driver's license? Um, and... I have my driver's license back because they stole it twice on me. Yeah. And I don't have my social security card. I don't have my sons or anything. She's got all the information of everything, where my kids are at. And I haven't even been able to contact my kids. And she's got all this info of them. And I told them, like, don't mess with my kids because that's going to be a crazy bitch and end up in prison. Yeah. I'm going to kill myself, dude. So they don't have to pay the price for me. You know what? You look better than last night, though. It looks like you got some rest. And I did. I was, but my whole body was jerking. I felt so sick. Everybody keeps stealing 
And then they're looking at me, and I'm like, I sure the fuck didn't do it. And Trevor's like, well, you've been gone, so, you know, except for the miss me yet. And I'm like, Trevor, they've been stealing from me. And that's why I've been staying gone, so that I can leave. And I stole my you get yourself, like, a little safe or something. <laughs> I don't know. Here, so I'm definitely not. Now I know it's Larry. I don't know where he put all my stuff. But I had some cool stuff. And, like, I yeah, he took, like, what? Well, it was, like a, like, a bag or something? You had, like, a bag. It was, and... like, yeah, well, he took a pillowcase before. Yeah. I can't find him, which was camp. I'm like, listen here, bitch. I don't care if you're a woman today or a man. You're yeah, he did it right in front of us. And you're supposed to be my friend. Like, what the hell? And he said he was looking for cigarettes and he took like a bag of stuff. I'm like, what the? What are you doing? But look, I'm gonna write down my number again for you, okay? Don't lose it this time. Put it, I was like, oh my god. So I was put like, in your pocket. They took my lighter, you guys. I was like, ah! They took your lighter, too? Yeah. Here's 10 bucks, so then you could get yourself some pads again. So, here. That's my number. Uh, so better, like... You said you didn't like the facility you went to last time, right? I wish I had knew someone to call them. So that they can help me, like... Well, what do you need? I mean, because I can take you somewhere if you want. He's telling me all the time what was the law and that. So I'm not, like, a, I'm not snitching, but I'm protecting my kids. Yeah. That's all I care about. You know, if I have to do prison time because I was dumb and loving him and not thinking... What, right you, what are you that. talking about? Because Tony got in trouble for all these robberies before I even met him. You guys are so sick, man. Do you want to go back to Tallahassee with your mom? No? At least maybe in the area? That's where your kids are, right? Oh, I know. My son's in um, Citra, and the girls are in Pennsylvania, and my other son's up there. Okay. No, I just wish I could just go to a different state and yeah. try to start over. Because I am going to be dead soon if I don't. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want you to die. You're still very young. You got your whole life ahead of you. But you got to change. I know I know it's it's hard, but... If they didn't mess with my medicine, I was going five days a week to mm -hmm. Springbrook doing drug and alcohol classes. And mm -hmm. messed up. I'm here for you. My friend James here for you if you need anything. I mean, believe me, I'm not a bad person. I know you're not I was a bad just person. Bad for like selling for less than letting them destroy me. Yeah, you need but, to put yourself first before these guys that you're putting. I know, but like work, like how am I supposed to work when I'm tired and exhausted and I'm food? That's why you gotta get healthy. You gotta get healthy first, Sarah. Because I was just talking to Chris and I knew who I was living with before I came over here. She's like, I heard they robbed you and stole everything. She's like, I wish you would have left. The nurse came here look, three times looking for you. I should have went last night and I'm like, I couldn't find his, they took his number from me and everything. I can take you now. You want me to take you to this place right now? I got a truck. We can put your bike back there. I mean, anything that you have, you know, I'll keep it safe. Dang, you ain't got to stress about none of this no more. Yeah. I have a, a family member that works at the place and I could get all the information. I could call her right now and they'll admit you. They'll, they'll keep you there for a little while and you can get get the help you need they'll help you out with your meds and stuff you got medicaid so you're good i mean what what does this life have to offer you right now like you're you're out here you're upset you're crying you're stressed out you're having to worry about people taking your life i mean this is a so, so, so much better of an option but you have to want it i mean that's the thing I don't know. Just it could end today in a positive way. So, what do you want to do? I just don't feel so sick, like physically, mentally. I just don't want Rachel and them to get away with what they're doing. Leave them alone. You need to work on you. Don't worry about them. Worry about you, worry about your kids. Don't you want to see your kids again? Yeah. We got to get clean, Sarah. We got to get healthy. We got to get back on your meds that you're supposed to be taking. I wasn't even messed up before until they started showing me like the basketball. But you look better today than last night. You look you look kind of rough last night. I was really worried about you. I'm starting to get chills and everything. 
so to say. Do you want me to take you to this place? Because I don't think they let you take anything in there. Like it's like you just go. It's in uh, Wesley Chapel. So I gave Sarah my number again. James had this good idea of actually getting her to call on her phone. That way she had my number stored in there permanently. And we did just that. Talked to Roxanne, my, uh, my ex-mother-in-law. I still call her my mother-in-law. I uh, still love her. She's always been in my life. And she works at a mental institution that is for recovering addicts, people with some mental illnesses, people that have some suicidal tendencies, deal with all kinds of mental issues, and they do a great job. But you have to be willing. You have to admit that, hey, I have a problem. There's something wrong with me. They're not going to take you if you're not serious about that. And she seems a little bit... I don't know. On the fence. Yeah. I did give her the option. I, I didn't want to force her. I didn't want to throw it in and be like, hey, you have to come with me right now. So she has my number. I'm hoping that she calls us up in the next couple hours and we're going to come, fingers crossed, bring her up to where Rocky works and hopefully give her the help that she's been asking God for because she has been praying but I mean if you've ever suffered with any kind of addiction you know that the hardest part getting over that addiction is the initial step and that's what we're working on right now I mean she she's really suffering I mean I seems like she's going through a lot right now she really feels somebody's out there to kill her too and she's really worried about that I believe that sometimes you're put in position for a reason God leads you to a certain place or leads you to do a certain thing sometimes there's just a small act that you act upon that can make the biggest difference in the world to somebody else that you have no idea about I, mean, I don't know if you heard her she was yeah. pretty much kind of hinting around that that like I don't want to do this I think we gave her a great alternative to that right you know what I she mean she was like I don't want to do this anymore I don't want to live and they, they want me to kill myself it sounds like she's honestly just hung around a lot of toxic people yeah and I realized when you hang out with people you become those people and you need to be True. very careful in the type of people you hang around because you will feed off your energy and they'll feed off your energy until they suck it all dry. I keep my circle close while you keep your circle yeah, close. And you have to. But everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves understanding without judgment. Mm -hmm. And I, that's that's how I feel about it. Like, regardless of what they've gone through, gross, what they've done, sometimes just one person showing some love to somebody can make a person change. All right, fam, so James and I decided to kind of check on some of the Randonautica spots that we hit up. In case you missed our live stream that we did, we came across some really interesting finds on each of our channels. Now, I'm gonna show you one that I came back to visit, and I titled, I didn't know what to title the video, but we found like clothes just laying, and uh, the clothes are still, actually, uh, where are the shoes at? I think the shoes are missing, but the shirt is still here and it's in pretty good condition. Uh, still really clean. There's socks right there. Um, I think there was even some like glasses somewhere. Bro, it looks it looks brand new. It, look, it doesn't even look like anybody even wore that. Like all the clothes were in really good condition. So maybe it wasn't from somebody that night, but what's on the other side of this? I saw on my GPS map that there was like a swimming hole here. Oh yeah. Oh bro, this is beautiful. Like, look at that. So yeah, there's there's a little swimming spot right there. So I'm thinking somebody took off their clothes, went swimming. Maybe they had a, a towel that they went home in and left their clothes. Maybe their clothes were wet. I don't know. There was people saying that it could have been an alien abduction. I mean, it, it, the way the clothes were laid out, it was like... It looked weird. We thought it was a, there was a body there. I think somebody placed it to look like it was a person. Like, there was shoes. There was... I mean, it was like they just disappeared from their clothes. Some people even mentioned, like, the rapture. I don't know. It was really weird, but we wanted to revisit. I'm going to grab this shirt. 
It's a Wolverine shirt. It seems clean as heck. Yeah. What size is it? Uh, it's a X X X X L. A two X. Oh, two X. That's my size. Yeah. You don't want it? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, it looks nice. Dude, it actually is really nice. Look how it looks like. It's just brand new, like not wrinkled or nothing. I want to know where those Nikes went because those were in. I mean, they were dirty, but they were in nice condition. I'm just thinking that somebody went swimming and left their clothes and maybe they just laid out their clothes like that. So I just thought it was weird. It was uh, it was definitely interesting finding it because what was our intention on this? It was like something warning or something, right? I don't even remember. I'm being very optimistic, trying to think positive. I'm hoping that Sarah gives us a call back so we can take her into this facility. Now, I did talk to Roxanne, which is my ex-mother-in-law. And she told me that the location, which is, I don't want to name the names, but Sarah did mention a location that was in Spring Hill that she tried to get help at. And she told me, Roxanne, she told me that that is probably one of the worst places, has such a bad reputation. Obviously, this person had a terrible experience there, Sarah did, to the point where, guess what? She's back in the streets and she's still suffering from drug addiction. So we're going to get her to a proper facility. Hopefully something positive comes from it and I'm pretty sure it will, but we gotta get her there. She has to want to go in the first place. So I'm waiting to hear back. While we're waiting, we're gonna be driving around a little bit, checking out some of our old intention locations. And I did mark the locations that we were at on my GPS. So let's go, bro. Yeah. Our fam, just wanted to give you a visual of where I just showed you, I mean, it's a lot later it's about nine o'clock in the night right now but this is that dark road where we found those clothes huge difference i mean this bro look how look how dark it is out here oh, oh my gosh dang it's so like gorgeous especially when you look at the water yeah the water during the by. day but at night it's just creepy see that like it's just spooky. so spooky so we just did a really fun live stream on James's channel. Be sure to check it out in case you did miss it. We went back to that barrel that I showed you and I'm not gonna, not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna have a spoiler alert here. You're just gonna have to watch this video and see, but we found a pretty interesting find about that barrel or we had some interesting I information. Was I, I was completely shocked. That's all I can tell you. I was shocked. I'm still shocked. Yeah. Didn't want to go home just yet in case Sarah called us and we were able to take her to that facility. Sadly, have not heard back from her. And I don't know, I'm kind of kind of sad, but I mean, like what if her phone died? Do you think we should try to call her? Um, we do have the number now, or is it really up to her to reach out to us? Which might yeah. really be the, the case. I, I mean, that was, that was the case, but I'm thinking maybe what if her phone died? Like, what if that happened and she's not able to reach out? That is very possible. Look at these guys here. They so crazy to get followed by an alligator. Break it in half, George. Break it in half. Oh my gosh. This guy just did the most amazing belly flop ever. He just winked at me too. Can you do it again? It's called a bellow. I think he's about to find a partner made like a loud splash once again year two it says winner i thought that said wiener uh, <laughs> this is that's the wrong channel loser i'm glad that you got both medals now so <laughs> dude i totally missed that's what you yours. guys were doing yeah, too there you go. Let me get a little i'm so bummed right now because i have some live streaming equipment as you know i've been live streaming quite a bit on my other channel called live 
And I wanted to come here to Gatorland and be able to offer something that no one was doing here today because there's a ton of video creators. So you'll probably see a ton of videos here. I mean, look, there's somebody zip lining over gators. There's a drone. I mean, this place is awesome if you're a YouTuber and you want to have fun and get some great content. But the live streaming did not work as well as I thought it would. And I think it has something to do with some of the materials that are out here. I mean, you guys have watched my live stream, super high quality. I'm using stuff that the news uses, costs a lot of money. But as soon as we got on the Gatorland property, I mean, it was spotty. I mean, I, I was just trying not to even move. The, it, and I could move my camera usually all the time. But Tiffany's like, don't move, don't move. It wasn't just me either. People in the chat were saying the same thing. Yeah, true. But you don't be listening. No, it wasn't that. It's just like, you can't just stay still. There's so much going on. But whatever, I figured, hey, we'll just, we'll just vlog it up. Yeah, but you know what you can do? You can take some of the footage from the live stream and then- I deleted it. Yeah. Because it was terrible. Yeah, I just deleted it. There was some good stuff Plus, in there. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want people to go on there and it had terrible ratings you too. You made it private. Tons of thumbs down and I was like, ugh. You should have so, like, made it private. Just nah. Just go back and get some of the You're so impulsive. I know. So impulsive. Are we gonna get some of these guys on our on our ranch? No. Them things be like. Oh, it's like doing this really cool little call. What is that little guy? Oh hey. Oh, he's coming right towards you. He wants a kiss. Imagine how big their eggs are. Look at these little babies. Oh, how cute. Hi. Sorry, I don't got no mealworm for you. Not today. Somebody got a hot dog. It's like, mommy, feed me. Feed me, mommy. All right, guys, come on over here. <laughs> Who wants to go swimming? That's Crash That's Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve. There you go, Scuba. He actually oh, knows his that. name. Get that. He's blind. Oh, He's so, blind. so that's James. <laughs> in alligator well, form. <laughs> I think he sees worse than James. Yeah, so when he came to us, he was so skinny, you could see every single bone in his body. Oh. He came from a facility that had to get shut down, and I don't know the history of it. But also, if you look right here, so you see that little spot right there where his bone grew back together? When he came here, his whole top jaw would just lean over like Aww. that. It wasn't attached. But now that was three years ago, and he's doing great. Everybody loves him. It's got a good sense of hearing though, huh? Yeah. Super good. He needs it to be blind. Super good. <laughs> so how does he eat? I mean, will he be able to feel it? Feed him. We make sure he eats. Scuba. I can tell. I mean, he's big. And he can hear you. Sometimes I think he bluffs us and I think he can see a little bit. Ah. But he keeps pretending like he can't. But That's totally James. <laughs> That's totally James. <laughs> How is James? He He's left good. me the other day. He left yesterday. Savannah is the nicest. Do you want to be in the car? I would love to. Yeah, you guys know where you're from. New York. All right, decided to take a little stroll outside of Gatorland, and I stumbled across these geese. Or do you call them gooses? Geese. 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 And there's little babies that just hatched. No, I think they'll be okay. They look pretty friendly. Hi, guys. How you doing? I just want to see the little babies. I just want to see the little babies. You guys want to kiss? You want to kiss? <laughs> what? They're friendly. Look, you can see the eggs. Like, they just hatched. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm trying to figure out why this baby duck is all by himself over there. Like oh, that's that's a little one. No. Are those your family? Are those your parents over there? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right over there. there. He's gonna get eaten by a gator. Maybe he's the ugly duckling from the well, the geese we've seen. He's ugly. I want to help him. him. Where's his parents? We gotta find him. I don't, know. I I don't think he's aggressive. I, I think, think it's their baby. I think they're just thinking you're gonna feed them something. No way. You want your food? You want your food? I don't got no food for you. He's wagging his tail. <laughs> Aww, he's like all by himself. Those are invasive ducks too. These guys? Yeah. 
I didn't know that. Scoby ducks, yep. Huh. All the ones with that red stuff. Uh -huh. I've seen them for have years. It, but it comes later. Uh, they're invasive? Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're cute. I do too. Look at your Savannah. Oh, little frog. Oh, how did you even see him? He was fast. <laughs> oh, where are you going? He's coming trying up to, behind you. I'm trying to, oh, hey. he wants to eat the frog. <laughs> We're talking to ducks. Are you talking duck? <laughs> you think they quack, but they don't. Look at his right. beak, how pretty that pattern is. Look. It is pretty. Hi. So cute. somewhere different now. I'm in freaking Nevada. How the hell did this happen? I am starting a two week trip completely by myself. Now, oh, a Corvette, oh, look, I don't want to just see. Right, I do get distracted very easy, but I have mentioned it on social media. As you can see, alone, merch, cop yours today, pretty awesome. But I'm gonna be doing an alone series where I'm alone in the dark at some of the scariest places. And I'm gonna be starting in North Nevada, some parts of North California. I'm not gonna be much in Cal, I think I'm gonna be in California this evening, but I'm gonna share some of the behind the scenes with you here on this video. Well, maybe the next video too. I know this video is kind of long. Thank you for watching, if you're still watching this video. Uh, you know what? No one's looking. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. I took this picture on social media last night. Well, it was Tiffany dropping me off at the airport. And I was like, getting ready to start my trip. I'm all alone. And of course, some people are like, Well, Omar, who took the picture if you're all alone? You're a clip meter. Look, this is my car, okay? Look, let's see if there's anybody inside. Anybody hiding in there? Anybody? Any? Anybody over there? Now, unfortunately, some of the places that I am gonna be going, I may not be alone because there's gonna be ghosts there. That's right, I'm going to real haunted locations and I'm gonna be by myself, trying to capture as much activity as I possibly can. I'm gonna be doing some live streams, so make sure you're subscribed to my live channel because if you haven't already, you know that I got some of the best quality live streams right now. It's hot. I mean, last night it was 91 degrees at nighttime, but where we're going, North Nevada is kind of cold. So I did bring a jacket. It's, it's crazy. The desert, unpredictable with the weather. I did kind of overpack a little bit. Got some stuff there, got some stuff there. And for the first time ever, I did a check bag. Okay, I was driving, I'm not even hungry, but I had to stop and check this place out. It's called, oh gosh, the sun. Ooh, can you see? It's called Plant Power Fast Food. I mean, maybe this is a vegan fast food restaurant? Let's find out. I am digging the new Kia Sorento. Almost got one of these. Of course I have to have a Colorado plate to stand out like a tourist. Why couldn't they give me a Nevada plate? Every one of these burgers are plant-based burgers. Two sizzled, quote unquote, beefy patties. I think I wanna get something for later. It's like a Big Mac. I'm gonna be on the road a long time today. When you're driving in the desert through Las Vegas, there is nothing. Good thing I have a full tank of gas. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. Got salad and I got a Big Zack. I'm not even hungry right now, but I can take a bite. I can take a bite. Oh, all right. I'm sure it would taste a lot better too if I was hungry. But I'm not gonna eat because I'm bored right now. I'll just watch you fall. And that should entertain me. Goodbye, camera. Goodbye. <laughs> Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Can you imagine if people like vlogged like this? 
Hey, how's it going? That's how my kids do like FaceTime. They just show their eyes, but it's like that way, you know? Top up at the pop up, tear the block up with my single. Yeah, yo, chick, she wanna dip, she see the drip, she wanna mingle, take the drip. Just made it to Tonopah. This is not where I'm gonna be staying, but it happens to be one of my favorite places where the Ms. Pa Hotel is and the Clown Motel and a couple other haunted locations. Was trying to do a live stream on the way down, but I wasn't thinking. We're in the middle of nowhere. This is a desert. Of course, it's gonna be like no signal. There was a couple times where I did have a pretty decent signal, but then it would just kept crashing, then coming back. And then I was gonna go to this haunted location and try to do a live. Go figure. I'm live in the middle of the desert just fine. Really good signal. Oh my gosh. My door's gonna blow off. Look at this. It's so freaking windy. <laughs> as soon as I get into this town, my signal cuts off. I mean, just no reception whatsoever. So there is the Ms. Paw right up there. I actually saw a full body apparition of a woman caught it on camera and everything probably one of the scariest things I've ever caught on video now this is new I have not seen that hotel it's called the Bell Vada guess that just opened up this entire town is haunted there is so much haunted history here there's a great deal of tragedies that happened dang that's cool that must have been abandoned the last time I came here but here's the Mizpah right across from the Mizpah that's a super haunted hotel and then right around the corner. Oh, look, that's the, okay, that's the Harlot House right there. Even though this is a small town, there is a Tesla charging station. This is one of my favorite places ever to come visit. The Clown Motel. Whoa, cool. Oh, they're doing some renovations. Love, love, love the Clown Motel. I wish I could stop, but I don't have much time. I donated a haunted clown to the clown motel. Not sure if you knew that. I think somebody had gave it to me like during a fan mail ep episode and we did we did do like a little mini investigation on it and we ended up bringing it to the the clown motel and we left it there. I'm thinking next time I go to the clown motel, I'm going to request to spend the night with my old clown and see if we could, you know, get a rise out of him. Whoa, check it out. Oh, we're going right through it. Ah! What the hell was that? All right, fam, so as I'm driving, just enjoying the beautiful view of the desert, I see something that is right up my alley, something that I absolutely love. You didn't know, your boy Omar absolutely loves the water. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at this. Oh, I gotta get out, look. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Dang. Look, it's so windy that there's actual waves down there. I think the name of this lake is Walker Lake. And yes, it is windy out. Got some graffiti on this rock here. Oh my gosh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, gotta get back in the car. I don't know about you, but I would totally love a house on that lake. I mean, there's like nobody out here. Come on. Where are the houses at? Maybe it's like protected land. Well, wow, it is beautiful. Beautiful. The lake just goes forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Omar, do you think that lake is haunted? I don't know. I need to do some research. I do know Lake Tahoe is haunted. And I've been wanting to do a video there. I mean, I was in the Lake Tahoe area last year, but I never got around to making like a haunted video there and explore a little bit more of the, the ghost stories because yes, people, I mean, as beautiful as that water is, it's a hot spot for paranormal activity and also deaths. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people die in Lake Tahoe.
know it's been a good stretch on this vlog that you're watching, probably like a good week. I mean, it started out in Florida. I'm here in Nevada. Actually, I think I may be in California right now. I know where we're going is kind of in between California and Nevada. So like you easily, you're in California one, like for a minute and then you're in, back in Nevada, back and forth. Uh, that's kind of like how Lake Tahoe is, which we're not far from there right now. But this is the Sierra Mountains. And I did have to stop here. I mean, I'm just geeking out. It's so beautiful. It's actually a little cooler up here than it was in Vegas. I mean, it was it was hot in Vegas. It's, I don't know, I want to say it's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but look, you can see snow on the mountains in the distance. How cool is that? And then there's this really pretty lake. Not sure the name of that lake. That's not Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is way bigger than that. Just a little, it's a little guy. But man, this is, this is beautiful. This must be a really popular spot for people to view this beautiful landscape because in the distance over there, yeah, you see there's people taking pictures and... I've spent the last three nights at probably one of the places that I went to. It, it was terrifying. I did a live stream there. If you're subscribed to my live channel, make sure to check it out because I leave the videos up and they're, they're in pretty good quality. I mean, where we were, I was, it wasn't the best quality because I was using a night vision camera and I did glitch out a couple times, but for the most part, it was a pretty awesome live stream. A lot of you loved it. And I caught so much just being there alone and, and listening. I don't think my life will be the same after that night. I mean, I, I saw things, I heard things that I never had before. I felt things and it's it's been hard to go to sleep at night i'm a little under the weather I haven't been feeling good too i think i'm maybe getting sick or i don't know i have some i don't feel sick because my lymph nodes are usually swollen if i am sick but maybe i'm allergic to the desert which sucks because i love the desert i love it out here but we're gonna be going to virginia city i got a couple locations that i'm gonna be doing there and I'm excited. Actually, the place that I'm going to be exploring tonight, I've been there during the day. I was terrified and I was with two other people, Tiffany and a tour guide. And I was terrified during the day. Caught a lot of activity. I'm going to be there alone at nighttime from yeah nighttime to sunrise. That should be interesting. That's probably one of the one of the places that I was terrified to go and in the back of my mind, I've been mentally preparing myself and I don't know, wish me luck. I've never been on a trip like this for this length of time alone. I'll tell you what, you get to really know yourself when you're alone. I mean, you get to hear your thoughts better. It's uh, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. If you get an opportunity to be alone for a length of time, I would definitely recommend doing so. It's like a purge of thoughts, bad thoughts. Especially when you're somewhere beautiful like this. I mean, this is great. I mean, I'm obviously here for work, but it, it is nice. It is nice to get out and see somewhere new. Uh, but I mean, I've been, I'm, I haven't been sleeping that great. I'm tired. Anyways, we have a lot to see still. I haven't vlogged a whole lot because I've been just driving. And then, I mean, last night I was at this place called the Preston Castle and we had to wait in order for me to have the place the entire night. I had to wait till about 2 a.m. Three, four, five. That's 5 a.m. my time in Florida. So that's when I started my video at 2 a.m. But I had to wait till like all the volunteers cleared the building and I was there completely alone because that's what I want to do. Yeah, I love this merch. It's my favorite merch so far. I mean, the good news is, is I don't stink because the desert does not make me sweat even if it's hot out. There's just no humidity out here. My lips are chapped. My lips are never chapped, but do you got some blistics. Anyways, let's get to Virginia City. I'm going to show you around a little bit. See, kind of show you what it looks like. You have been there before with me last year, but... Yeah, let's go see if anything's changed. Plus, we got some awesome locations locked up there. And I got some behind the scenes in this video that I'm going to share with you before that I'm not going to share in my actual videos in my, my season, my new season, Alone in the Dark. But I'm excited about it. I haven't been this excited about filming something in a really long time. On the road again. Decided to do a little exploring because as I was driving, I saw something magical. 
This is my other Alone merch that I have. See, it says Alone. And then it's got the definition of Alone on the back. I don't know if there's any rattlesnakes on here, but I'm gonna be careful. There could be bears. Brought my bear spray. Shut. Just in case. Missing YouTuber in the woods. Okay, I don't know. I am not seeing the magical stuff. In case you're wondering, it's snow. And I did see it driving. But when I found an area to park, which is right over there, I don't see it. Always gotta watch your footsteps. Love these trees, they're massive. Hey, that one, that one's huge before it died, or maybe lightning struck it, struck it, struck it. You can see where that guy broke off. Probably just got old. That, that is a big tree. Now, these pine trees are way different here. Oh, that one looks like it's on its way out. Uh, this one is about to fall with a good windstorm. Yeah, totally thought there was snow over here. I saw it back the other way. Okay. Was hoping to make a snow angel or something. Oh my God. This is such a beautiful view of no guardrail. No, I'm just kidding. But there is a beautiful lake down there. You can see it up ahead. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. idea where I'm at but it's about an hour from Lake Tahoe oh wow gorgeous scenery love love the West Coast to visit by the way just just to visit you know if I was forced to move out this way I don't think I'd complain but it have to be a, an amazing deal on some real estate it makes you wonder would you appreciate somewhere that you lived every day to i mean like i appreciate this so much and it's because i don't live anywhere near mountains or snow so i mean it, like every time i see it you know what i'm saying oh no let me know if you feel me on that oh my god this is like a massive mountain Woo. Dang. whoa all these trees are all charred up there must have been a really bad fire here not long. Oh, oh my God. Dude, it's like a pine tree graveyard. Oh, wow, that's so sad. I wonder what started that. Man, holy crap. Look at this. It's so bad. Oh my Jesus. This just keeps going. And it starts getting a little bit greener in this area, but yeah, it's kind of spread out. Oh man, this is this is really bad. We do get wildfires in Florida too. I mean, some really bad ones, but I think it's much worse in the mountains. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh man, I want to get down. I don't know if that's the same lake. There's a couple boats out there. Oh, this is so beautiful. I mean, just like this guy right here, a little camper, RV, I'd be totally down. Uh, yeah, that's that's amazing. In case you ever want to visit, this is Cables Lake, Cables Lake Resort. And I think there is lodging. Man, it says right there, vacancy. Oh, uh, this is beautiful, off the beaten path. Not too many people. Man, it's just God's land right here. Oh man, look, that fire just kept going on the left-hand side too. 
I wanted to show you this really cool place. This is in the very beginning of Virginia City. Proceed to the roof. Yeah, whatever. There's a woman apparition that's been seen here. Her name is Rose. And you could sometimes not only see her, but smell her perfume. I don't know if this is open. It says it's open till 9 p.m. But yeah, there's like nobody here. Now, Virginia City is like a ghost town. It's pretty awesome. Proceed to the roof. Okay, I'll go back, chill. This car is so dirty from the desert. Gold Hill. Whoa! Turn left Whoa. onto North Main Street. Did a video here about a year ago where Tiffany and I were pretty much just walking the streets of Virginia City. What made this video so cool though is I came across this really strange thing. It's like right at five o'clock, Virginia City, I mean, it's it's busy during the day. A lot of visitors come up from Reno. It's not that far from Reno. And it's busy, like there's people everywhere. And then five o'clock hits and it's like, whoop, like the place wipes out. There's nobody around and it's, it turns into a complete ghost town. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I think I am. Virginia City elevation 6200. What? Yeah, see, it already looks like a ghost town because it is 523. Oh. Continue on to South C Street. All right, fam. This is my hotel. It's called the Silver Queen. Creepy room. No windows. Those aren't windows. That's just for like ventilation. All right, fam, as you can see, this is Virginia City, Nevada. And at nighttime, it becomes a literal ghost town. I want to share something with you because I was just in here. By the way, it's four o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, which means it's seven o'clock in the morning in Florida for me. Yep, 724 to be exact. This place right here, see this? this is in Virginia City. It's called the Washoe Club. I've been here before, but I decided to be brave and be in here all by my damn self. Yeah, I was in, well, this is the bar area, but beyond those doors is a museum that lead to a crypt that I spent some time in by myself. People have witnessed rocks being thrown at them in there. That didn't happen to me. No, no, not in the crypt. That's not what was scary. But what was really scary, and probably the reason I will never ever return back here was up here, up there. And I've been up there before. Been up there before, during the day, during the day though which they say it's super haunted during the day, right? Uh, this is on a whole nother level of hauntings, okay? I'm talking about not just noises, not just getting touched, but getting violently touched, okay? I was so terrified that I left all my equipment, my backpack, my keys, my camera. I, I was on my way to the bathroom, which is downstairs, and I left everything upstairs. I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. Just ex I explored the, the top, top floor which is the third floor, on my way out to go to the bathroom, something 
like it, you could hear it. And you know what? I recorded it. I did record on my iPhone because I was putting my main camera down. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just, just in case I catch something on the way down, I'm going to record. And I recorded and you could hear what sounded like some footsteps behind me. And you could see me freaking out. I, I got touched from behind almost as if something was escorting me out of the building. <clears throat> I didn't want to go back up there. I was like, okay, well, obviously there's something here that does not want me here. I call up the owner. I'm like, hey, can you please come back? There's something that probably doesn't want me here. I need to get my stuff. And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. I mean, it's like three o'clock in the morning at this point. He comes and he, you know, we go up there together and I mean, everything is fine. And then I have this grand idea to do a spirit box session, which I should have, shouldn't have done. But the guy, Justin, he was like, yeah, man, it's fine. Like, we'll, we'll be okay. And I start doing a spirit box. We start both as we're doing the spirit box. We're in this poker room and we look down the hall. We start seeing this shadow figure kind of peeking its head around the corner, like doing, and we both saw it. We both, both saw this. So I was, I was okay. You know, I was like, all right, you know what? Nothing's happened anymore. So I go in the room where this shadow figure we both saw, and I didn't know if it was behind this wall or behind the next wall that it peeked out. So I'm kind of exploring, looking around. All of a sudden, I levitate up off the ground and get pushed. I break my camera and everything. It was like a violent push, scratch, and then something grabbed my wrist. The dude, Justin, that witnessed this was shook. He was like, brah, like I saw you come up off the ground. I'm here thinking at first, maybe like I tripped over something. Like I, I, I didn't know I was trying to process everything. I mean, it was so much happening at once. And then my crucifix starts getting pulled. It's just like, like, like pulling and it happened downstairs, but it was just like a one pull. As soon as that happened where I got pushed, it, it was, it started like, like pulling on my crucifix. I start pouring holy water like all over the place. The holy water moved on the table. It was this place right here. I am never coming back here ever again. I would never tell you to bring, especially do not bring kids here. There was a five-year-old little boy. Someone brought along and thought it was a good idea. He got attacked. Like, I mean, he had bruises all over him from whatever is here. Whatever darkness is here at the Washoe Club. Some people haven't experienced things. I mean, th these are experiences that are personal. On this night especially, this was a very, very active hotspot. And I, I, I don't even want to take the chance. I don't want to come back here again. I don't know if this because I'm tired. And it's just obviously like wanting to get my attention. It was like, it was bullying me. It was bullying me. I, like, the freaking sun is getting ready to come up. And I'm on the Pacific side. I mean, I, I'm just, this, this was... Yeah, I'm, I don't want to come back here again. Uh, Virginia City's cool. I love Virginia City, but the Washu Club. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. People are friendly here. Very nice owners. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, if you want to come have some crazy experiences, uh, yeah, come here. Don't come alone like I did, though. Yeah. Uh, this being alone thing, hey, I, I feel like it. I don't know, it's, it like triggered whatever bully spirit was here. Gotta go for now before we leave, give me a kiss.